Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching jQuery for Beginners Lesson 8 and in this video I want to introduce you to chaining. Wow. Okay then class, so what on earth is chaining in jQuery? Well, chaining is one of those really cool features of jQuery that just speeds up our code production. It's really good for that. And essentially, the crux of it is the ability to chain together multiple functions or methods on a particular set of jQuery objects or elements that we grab from the page in one line of code and we chain them together using the dot syntax. So you've probably seen me using chaining in previous tutorials in this series but you've not twigged that that's what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is give an example of a long statement chained together with different methods. So the first thing we do like we always do is use the dollar sign to say we're using jQuery and then we're going to go after an element on our page to begin with. Now I'm going to go after this contact methods ID right here so I'll just type in hash contact methods and that's going to return oops, that element to us. Now the first thing I want to do is change the CSS so that it has a border of two pixels solid and red Okay, now the next thing I want to do is say dot next and we've seen this already in the previous tutorial All I'm saying here is go after this next element in line. Okay, and then dot CSS I'm going to change the CSS of this element as well And before I do that you're going to notice I'm doing dot this dot this dot this I'm linking all of those uh, methods or functions together in this one statement. That is what chaining is all about. Okay, really cool. So let's carry on. I'm going to give this next element, this image, a border. Oops, sorry, we need to, uh, yeah, border, that's right. And then I'm going to make this uh, two pixels solid and green this time. Okay, then, so after I've got the image, what I'm going to do is say get the closest. And we know closest goes up the dot until it finds the nearest element to match. And I want the closest section tag. So we're going to go, oops, we need to put that in uh, quotes like that. I'm going to go up the dot. It's going to go up here and it says, okay, I found a section tag. So I'll stop there. Grabs that for me. Then I'm going to change the CSS of that. And we're going to give this a border of two pixels. Two pixels solid and this time we'll do blue all right then so I'm gonna save that and now we can see first of all we've got contact methods giving it a border of red which is this then we're saying next get this image give that a border which is green there and then get the closest section so it goes up the dom finds this section uh, CSS give that a blue border which is right here so all of these methods are chained together in one statement Really cool, right? But I will warn you here, don't get too carried away with chaining because as you can see already, it's becoming a little bit unreadable. If this was twice as long, forget it. You'd have too many, I would say. But to make it look a little better, a little more readable, what we can do is after every change that we've done on an element, we can click enter like that and then enter like that. So each one of these now is on a different line and it's performing a different action, yeah? We're going after this contact methods on the first line and changing its CSS. The second line, we're grabbing the image and changing that CSS. And the third line, we're going after the section and changing that CSS. So it's got a logical kind of structure to it now, yeah? That would be the way I would set out these long statements when we chain them together. So guys, that is what chaining is all about. It's really cool when used in small doses. Don't overdo it, like I say, and have chains that are really, really long because it's going to become um, untidy. It's going to become hard to follow, especially for other developers when they come into your code and have a look. Uh, so yeah, there it is. Use it wisely. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the very next episode.